global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happenings Today YouTube channel. Still on the issue of the full ministerial list made by Bola Metunubu APC. Many Nigerians uh, uh, are still trying to recover from what they saw, like uh, the likes of Hosseini Rufai will say. So all this long while we have been waiting for the ministerial list, it's made up of ex-governors and ex-senators. But while that is one of the controversial issues that is catching the attention of most Nigerians, is the one of David Omai, though he's sitting, a sitting senator, a former governor, made the ministerial list, despite the fact that um, uh, just 28 names, many other states were not involved, inclusive, based on whatever only God knows the APC and the Ebola Metunubu led him that can explain that. I guess they have their reasons for picking the ones they have picked. My colleagues in the house want to go through the next move David Dumai is thinking of making. Remember, he has two choices. Either to remain as a sitting senator with all the juicy information involved in it and the issue of um, immunity cover and or becoming, resigning or becoming the minister uh, of uh, Bola Metunubu's uh, led or, or, uh, organization administration and of course in another news you get to see what transpired when one of the female ministers were um called upon let's quickly run into the news proper before we do that my colleagues in the house of course we're going to look at this expressively kindly subscribe to our channel well, according to the news david omahi who is the deputy senate leader at the national assembly is getting ready to step down from his position as the senator allegedly so his purported resignation is due to his nomination and likely appointment as a minister in the Federal Republic of Nigeria under President Bola Ahmed Tunubu's cabinet. Now, Umahi, who served as the governor of Ebony State and represents Ebony South Senatorial District in the National Assembly, is a leader in the ruling All Progressive Congress APC. He's part of a group of powerful nominees, including former River State Governor Yeson Wiki, former Kaduna State Governor Nisa Erufai, Dele Alake, and others who have been chosen as potential ministers for Tinubu's government leadership report. Now, to make matters interesting, Senate President Goswil Akpabu acknowledged the nominations and mentioned that more names will be sent to the Senate for consideration in the near future. Nigerians are eagerly waiting for the, for the Senate confirmation process to see how the new administration's team will be formed and what roles the nominees will take on in Tinubu's government. Of course, in another news, uh, one of uh, the... One of the... Um, now, all, I think that again, all Progressive Congress APC politicians, Stella Okutete, has reacted to the release of President Bola Metunubu's ministerial nominees list. Report has it that Tinubu on Thursday finally submitted the list of his ministerial nominees to the Senate for screening and confirmation. In a video making rounds on, online, Stella, who emerged as one of the 28 names, was captured praying and speaking in tongues after the ministerial list was released. Now, it was also reported that Honorable Stella Kotete holds a, a Bachelor of Arts degree in International Studies and a diploma from Benson in Dahosa University. She also holds a diploma in... i think that again. Stella Okutete holds a Bachelor of Arts degree in International Studies and Diplomacy from Benson Idahosa University. She also has a diploma in law from the River State College of Art and Science. She also has a Master degree in Public Administration and Peace Studies and Conflict Resolution. In her academic qualification, she has completed prestigious certificate programs like Harvard Kennedy School Certificate Program for Emerging Leaders and Entrepreneur Management Program at the Lagos Business School. And she's also... A influential, as she's an influential figure within APC, she was the national woman leader of the APC Keteka Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee, which is CECPC. Ukutete was also appointed as the executive director, business development, Nexim Bank in 2017. Between 2011 and 2015, she served as a special assistant and advisor to the executive governor of Delta State on Minimum Development Goals (MDGs). Of course, there have been reactions to this, but let's quickly look at what. Um, transpired david umahi 
uh, was still allegedly swept because until the final screening emerged, uh, just like what happened with uh, Femi Bajaba Mela, he was actually a sitting senator. Yeah. As soon as he was called for appointment, he gladly resigned. Yeah. And so it's not like it's going to be very new for someone like David Omahe to gladly resign. What do you think David Omahe would do between taking the ministerial seat and the immunity cover that comes with the a uh, with the senatorial seat. What if in the next nine months, one year, two years, he falls out from the government of uh, Bola and Metunubu led government or administration? He's back to none. What do you think? I, I really don't get it. You know, this guy, David Omaye, has been a politician for years, so he understands the consequences of making such decisions. But first of all, personally, I would say that, that being a sitting senator and being a minister. Two different portfolios, you know. But one of the things I know about this is that so, this guy have been a governor before. Mm. He understand what it feels like to be in charge. You understand? Okay. In the Senate, he's not in charge. You understand? Good. Maybe they're going to make him, you know, um, chairman of a particular of committee, committee or maybe vice chairman of a particular committee and all of that. But he's not the one that is making all the decisions, you know. There are some things you may do which, um, you know, you might have some, you will be controlled, a kind of, apart from that, as it has to do with um, ministerial position. They are going to give you a ministry as a portfolio hmm. to handle. So you are the one to detect everything. And man, these guys, they know how to play the game and get some financial rewards out of it, you know. So, and him being a politician, that guy is a smart dude. I've, at least I've seen him handle issues, you know, before. For example, when this issue of Gospel like Pablo came on board, he didn't struggle to, you know, Let step go. down for him. Merely he heard that uh, Gospel like Pablo was, you know, uh, endorsed. endorsed by Bola Metinibu. So uh, these guys, they, they, they've deal with presidents, they've deal, deal with people. So they just know how to play their game and they'll be in the heart of the president. He knows that. Being who he is as a senator of uh, Nigeria, he has already gotten that honor. But right now, he wants to operate as a senator so that he will enjoy. As a uh, sorry, as a minister, so that he can enjoy his stay. You understand? He can rule over the. He can make decisions. He can uh, attain executive uh, neck. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, national executive meet uh, council meetings. Yeah, he can true. know what is really happening as a senator. There are a lot of sitting senators who do not know what is happening in Nigeria. I'm telling you, they are just there attending plenaries. They are part of this and that and that. But this one means you are inside. You are in the sometimes you say, President, I want to see you, I want to discuss this and this and this and this, you know. So, and he wants his voice to be heard more often. Right now, the, in Senate, the only person's voice that is heard most often is, is the Senate president. The Senate president, he's the only one. Even the minority leader and the majority leader, uh, uh, we of the house. They could actually easily be forgotten if they don't. You understand? So, he, he wants to be felt. And, you know, giving him that opportunity, he wants to impact on it seriously. So that tomorrow, if there's a chance of coming into presidency, why not? You know, how many senators have you really seen? You know, after their senatorial position, they have mounted with wins and you know get uh, gotten the mind of their people or nationally. But when you are a minister and you perform superbly, you know somehow somehow people really want to still relate with you politically. So I I, I think for me, if I was in this position, I'll drop that senate uh, stuff and still go in. But then. Um, there are disadvantages to that. Mm. One of those disadvantages is if um, PEPC comes out in favor of Peter Obi or Atiku Abubakar, that means he's going to lose out big time. Have you now seen the forces that may not allow that to go that exactly. way? Because even his political career is at stake. Uh, he's at stake. But uh, Mela's exactly. political career is at stake. Exactly. We so can it's, save. It's we at can, stake. So, so it's, it's, it's not even and the latest news. The latest news is that they are going to allow them to start acting without the confirmation of the Senate. This is coming from the presidency. Oh, dear. So that's why everybody is so eager. They want to start. Whether Senate confirms them. So I'm seeing this Senate even more of a rubber stamp than the previous Senate. Because it, it, this has never happened before. My How can God. you be talking about these guys running when we as lawmakers, we have not... Peruse through the uh, records everything records and all, and all of that. that, and you want to, you know. So, but hey, 
Uh, since I, I, I anointed you and I endorsed you, why wouldn't you allow things to run the way it should run, you know? so Well, that's going to wrap it up. Let's meet in the comment section. What's the take? If you were in Omahi's shoes, David Omahi, uh, Senator David Omahi's shoes, what would you do differently? You are yet to find out if he finally he's going to be confirmed as this is still...